Paramount was set up uh, 26 years ago. I set it up, so I'm the owner and managing director. Um, prior to that, I'd worked for 11 years in my father's firm. That was a, a seafood-based manufacturing company as well. Our raw materials come from the West Country. So we're buying on the Newlin Market, which is a uh, shout auction, and we're buying on Plymouth Market, which is an electronic auction. Paramount have two production sites. Um, we have a primary processing site down in Newlin, and there we do the primary processing of um, haddocks, lemon sole, place, and whiting. Um, we fillet it. Um, the majority of it's done by hand. Um, we also smoke products down there, and then we use that product to then bring it up into the factory up at Heathfield for inclusion in our fish pies and, and fish cakes and things like that. We supply the food service market in the UK. We do a little coated small fish, um, smelt and white bait. White bait only over five centimetres, so we're not using anything that's on the red list. And um, we sell into big restaurant chains, hotel chains and pub chains, and also into virtually every wholesaler in the UK. We probably have to reinvest um, in terms of anywhere between 250 and 500,000 a year in capital equipment. And that's to stay ahead of the game really from the point of view of having you know, the, the best forming machines to do our fish cake range. Most of the profits of the business are sort of ploughed back into the business to make us better at what we're doing. We do get a number of people that are asking us for, um, well, can I have this product you know, with the cheapest fish available? And, but we want it to be sustainable and we want this and we want that. And you think, well, those two things don't go together, really. I think one of the most difficult things that you've got over here, and it's bizarre bearing in mind that we are an island, is that you know, the main species that are being used are, are cotton haddock. And those are the two things that people tend to, to focus on. Yeah, trying to sort of pull people out of that into other, into, uh, into other species is difficult. Um, but whiting's just starting to hit menus now, which is quite nice. I mean, that's a beautiful fish. Well, I think it's quite important for us to um, try and develop the, the younger generation. Um, my two sons are involved in the business, so they're 20, 23 and 26. We took a young lad who was 18, brought him into the finance department, trained him up, then moved him off over into production. So we try and grow some of our own um, youngsters. I think as a, you know, a relatively large employer, which we are in this area, I think you've got that responsibility anyway. Well, I love it. I mean, I love it. It's all I know, really. I mean, I joined the industry when I was 16, working for my father. And um, yeah, I wouldn't really want to do anything else. Both my sons are in the business now as well. My three sisters are in the business in various parts of it, so, you know, it's a family business, really.